Good everyone. So today we will be learning how to simplify rational exponents. Try to recall uh, the definition of rational. Uh, ratio of two quantities as long as ang denominator mo hindi zero po. So my example tayo a raised to one half, x raised to three fourth, b raised to two third po. So before simplifying po, a piece of advice, emphasize ko to sa inyo. Para madali kayo mag-simplify, dapat alam nyo ang basic like loss of exponent, um, loss of fractions. May video po ako niyan. If you have time, try to watch po. So, uh, number one, x raised to 1 half raised to 2. So, loss of exponent, ma-apply, and fraction po. Pag ang um, fraction, i-multiply mo sa whole number, kadalasang mistake, ang whole number, i-multiply both numerator tapos denominator, wrong po yan. Si whole number, i-multiply mo directly sa numerator lamang hindi isasali sa denominator. So, bali 2 times 1, 2, then just copy 2, so magiging x raised to 2 over 2 or x raised to 1 or your final answer is x po. So, number 2, 5 raised to 2 raised to 1 half, so 2 times 1 half is 2 over 2. So, 5 raised to 1 equals to 5. So, so, number 3, x raised to 1 half, y raised to 3 halves, raised to 1 half. So, as you can see, 1 half times 1 half, then 3 halves times 1 half. So, 1 half times 1 half is 1 fourth, and 3 halves times 1 half is 3 fourth. So, number 4, 9 squared raised to negative 1 half. So, multiply mo si 2 sa negative 1 half, mag-yield ka ng negative 2 over 2. So, negative 2 over 2 equals to negative 1. So, uh, loss of exponent, ibaba mo, ma-change ang sign. So, 1 over 9 raised to positive 1, ma-change ang sign. So, your final answer would be 1 over 9. So, we have these last three items po. Number 5, 64 raised to 1 fourth raised to 2. So, multiply mo lang si 1 fourth sa 2. So, magiging 64 uh, raised to 2 over 4. Ang result natin. Then, 2 over 4 can be simplified as 1 half, di ba? And any number raised to 1 half can be equivalent to its square root, di ba? If you have time, may video po tayo in transforming rational exponents to radical form. If you have time, try to watch my video po. So, bali, square root of 64 is 8 po. So, number 6, 4 raised to 2 third raised to 3. Multiply mo si 2 third sa 3. So, makam up tayo ng 6 over 3. Or this is equal to 2, di ba? So, meron tayong 4 squared. Or this is equivalent as 16 po. So, lastly, number 7. 27 over 1, 2, 5 raised to negative 1 third. Maraming nalilito o nahihirapan pag, o natatakot pag ang exponent is negative. Ewan ko kung bakit. All you need to do is to distribute this one both uh, numerator and denominator. Bali ang result, 27 raised to negative 1 third over 1, 2, 5 raised to negative 1 third. Then, paano pag simplify nito? Try to use the loss of exponent. Sinulat ko na lang para mas maintindihan nyo. So, baling itong 27 raised to negative 1 third, pag ilagay mo sa baba, tulad nito, ma-change ang sign, ma-positive. So, this is equivalent to 1 over 27 raised to positive 1 third. And ito naman, pag galing sa baba, pag erase mo, ma-change ang sign. So, bali, 1, 2, 5, positive 1 third na siya. Then, 1, 2, 5 raised to 1 third over 27 raised to 1 third ang bagong expression natin. Then, magiging cube root siya. So, 1, 2, 5 raised to 1 third equals to cube root of 1, 2, 5 over cube root of 27. So, cube root of 1, 2, 5, ilan, anong bang number na i-multiply mo sa kanyang sarili 3 times mag-result ng 1, 2, 5? Diba 5? Ano bang number na i-multiply mo sa kanyang sarili 3 times mag-result ng 27? Diba 3? So, this would be your final answer. 5 over 3. So, that's it po. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for watching.